Today I'm going to share with you a really cool way to create a custom scrapbook page using embossing folders, stamps, and markers. So it's a super easy project and you can do this with any plain cardstock. You need three sheets of plain cardstock, a embossing folder, a stamp, and sequins from Tailored Expressions, some border punches, a Sizzix Big Shot machine, markers, and a couple different types of adhesive. So the first thing I'm going to do is run a dryer sheet through my embossing folder and that's going to help make it so the paper releases. Now these tailored expression embossing folders, the package tells you the dimensions. So I cut two pieces of paper to the same dimension as the embossing folder and use the Sizzix Big Shot machine to emboss each um, panel. And you could use these for card fronts too. And one of the, the ideas of this layout is using card supplies to make a scrapbook page. Next I cut a strip of paper off of this purple paper. And then I matched up the, the rest of the yellow paper with the purple paper using a length of 12 inch paper on the bottom. That way I get a 12 inch piece at the end when I match up that yellow and the purple. Now I'm just using some border punches on these strips of paper and they're a little bit too wide so I'm going to use the paper trimmer once I'm done punching these out to trim these a little bit thinner and then use a Tombow mono adhesive uh, runner to attach them to the page. Now I forgot I had all these punches and so this is a good way to kind of bring out your old supplies. Next on the back of one of the embossed panels I'm testing out some Tombow dual brush pens to see what it's going to look like if I try to shade the um, embossed image with them. So it looks pretty good so I turned over the blue piece of paper so I could do this on the back so I don't get any marker on my table. And I'm just slowly coloring in with the marker and then blending so that it's really dark where the sun part is and then as it goes out on the rays it's a little bit lighter. Then I use the same markers to add some doodles to my background page to kind of help everything tie all together. So I'm just following the pattern that's on the, the border stamps and are on the border punched um, strips and adding like little doodles that complement that, dots and dashes and different things, just following that pattern. So I'm not like coming up with anything, you know, spectacularly new or anything like that. Once that is all done and doodled, um, you'll want to stamp across the bottom. So I got this stamp. This is definitely for a card. It's a smaller stamp and it's for Easter. And it's a bunch of words all together, which I thought was super cute. So I stamped that across the bottom with some color box ink. And then to give some more dimension to these cards that I embossed, I am using the marker around the edges and then also around the edges of the actual layout itself so that I can get them to kind of stand out. It's almost like inking but not using an ink pad. So this way all the ink matches. Next I stamped um, some more of those Easter words on a piece of blue paper and then punched out some butterflies with that. Then I added my photos to my layout using the Tombow tape runner and then I trimmed the photos if they needed to be trimmed. Now I'm so sorry about the light, I'm using a new photo setup and the lighting is like really crazy so I definitely have to move my table again. Um, so what I did with those punched butterflies is spread them out on my page where I thought they would look good and then I used the Tombow 3D foam tabs on the back so that they would have dimension and I adhered all of those to the page. And then I went in with the Tombow Aqua Glue and I put little dots of adhesive everywhere that I wanted to add sequins. Sequins are really big right now and Tailored Expressions has some really cute ones. So I added tons of sequins on here and I used um, tweezers to kind of help me position those. Next I used a Tombow Dual Brush Pen to write a title, or at least this is part of the title. And then I cut that out because I don't have any sticker letters that match this. Using markers and the same cardstock that I used on the layout is a great way to make a matching title. And you can use um, lettering books like the ones that Maria Browning has or you can um, look online for different ideas for how to letter. I also wanted a different type of font so here on a strip of purple I just added some more words and then um, darken the edge with the end of the marker. Cut that into strips to make it like fake little letter stickers and I use the Tombow Mono um, adhesive runner to glue all those little fake letter stickers on. So I hope that you enjoyed this layout. There is a blog hop going on right now so click on the link down in the description. It's going to be during the weekend of March uh, 20th through 23rd ish. 
2015, so if you're watching this after that, I'm so sorry, but the giveaway will probably be over. But there's a lot of great ideas to go check out. So I hope I'll see you over on the blog and hit the subscribe button here at the end if you want to see more of our crafty videos.